Hi, my name is Kirsten and this is Doug. Today we're going to show you how to play fives on a rugby fives court and a squash court. This is part of a series of short videos, so please remember to check the others out. In this video, we're going to cover lets and keeping safe. We've already covered the need to warm up before playing a game. This helps to prevent muscle strains. But the main concern when playing fives is being hit in the eye or front of the neck with a ball. You can avoid this by always facing the front wall when a ball is about to be hit from behind you. You can safely look out the side of your eyes to see what's happening. The ball might hit the back of your head or neck or the bony ridges around your eyes, which will sting a bit, but no permanent damage is done. If you have to turn in order to hit the ball, then you must shout turning to warn the other players, which allows them to protect themselves. Also, fives is a non-contact sport, so keeping out of each other's way helps to prevent other injuries, which leads us into the subject of lets. If a player impedes an opponent, then a let should be offered or requested. There are generally no referees in fives, and so the players have to sort it out between themselves. If a let is agreed, then there are no penalties, and the point is played again. This might be if a player strikes his or her opponent with the ball and it's judged that it would have gone up. If a player strikes the ball such that it hits himself or his partner after it's hit the front wall and after it's bounced on the floor. If a player is prevented by his or her opponent from correctly returning the ball through physical or visual obstruction, even if the player manages to get the ball up, a let can still be claimed immediately. We hope you've enjoyed our video on how to play fives. If you are inspired to play, check out the other videos in this series and the resources available on the RFA website. Equipment is available at glovesandballs.com. Thanks for watching.